a million birds just came out of nowhere and landed in the ocean over here and then drifted towards those sailboats. All you really? hear is on the water, thousands and thousands. Stay tuned as we explore Santa Cruz County, only to find ourselves amongst a magnificent spectacle for the eyes, ears, and mind. Hello, I'm Jacqueline, and this is Nick. We invite you to join us and our dog Trixie on our unique journey as we pack everything up, move into our camper, travel to our favorite destinations, and begin living in the now. Cause I've got no more expectations Gonna take my ass across the nation Been doing this far too long All the time I spend is now too far gone Time to change the pace and lose the face I put on for everyone else Embrace the change and play the game And do everything for myself There you go. Who was it that said uh, We posed pictures with sand on her face? <laughs> Back when we first started posting beach pictures, no they're like, oh, you put, you must put that sand on her. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, here it comes. Trixie, what's the worst part about going to the beach? Taking a shower. This is the Monarch Trail. If you come in the winter time, apparently there's thousands of monarchs here. They migrate here every winter. Unfortunately, it's July. The Monarch Butterfly Natural Preserve at Natural Bridges in Santa Cruz County provides a tree-filled canyon where three to 15,000 monarch butterflies spend their winter every year. This sanctuary shelters them from chilly coastal winds and supplies food during their stay. Non-native English ivy blooms in the fall and eucalyptus trees flower in the winter, providing these butterflies with a nourishing snack. So, not a single butterfly, which I expected, but still a really beautiful place, a really beautiful hike. Well, more of a walk, but it's still cool to see. This is really neat. Never seen tide pools like this. Yeah. Natural Bridges is not only home to the Monarch Trail, but also has a small coved beach and a ton of impressive tide pools to explore. Natural Bridges State Park is home to a fascinating diversity of life within 65 acres. Tide pools offer a glimpse of life below the sea. Low tides reveal sea stars, crabs, anemones, sea urchins, other colorful sea life, and leave the mind open to wonder about the surreal alien world beneath the waves. I've seen in a long time. Yeah. They're, they're very unique. Oh, he's missing his finger. Oh, dude. Is he born that way or did a bird eat him? I think a bird ate him. Poor guy. Poor guy. Put him back where you found him. Don't tell me what you do, man. Don't be crabby. Oh, <laughs> that would hurt. There's some waves. Another one over there. Let's a little see. baby. It's, it has its tentacles underneath the rock. rock. And if you go to the left a little bit, the sea star's tentacles stick out. <laughs> She's so excited. Yep. That white. Yep. Oh yeah, I see it. She's my tour guide for the day. Yeah. <laughs> it moves. Oh yeah, there it is. What 
do they call it natural bridges? I only seen the one bridge. I have no idea. Have you seen another? Uh-uh. I wonder if it washed away. So when I was a kid, there were a bunch of bridges over here. Okay. And they're gone. They because they eroded and then collapsed, right? Oh. So that's why it was called that. And that's the last one. Then. Yes, okay. exactly, right? Well, yeah. it's on Monterey Bay, um, which okay. is super unique because the water is on its crown where the southern and the northern species meet. So there's a ton of life that lives in the water. There's a beautiful place to live. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> ninja. <laughs> You like Santa Cruz? I've always liked it. Yeah. <laughs> well said. <laughs> We were witnessing the arrival of hundreds of thousands, with estimates as high as a million, of international visitors. These are sooty shearwater, a seabird that looks similar to a small drab seagull. Every year these birds leave their nesting grounds in New Zealand to transverse over 45,000 miles across the Pacific, in a feat of precise navigation to return to their feeding grounds on the California coast. What we experienced can only be described as a dense black cloud billowing over the ocean, a sheer abundance of animals in motion. What is going on, Jacqueline? It's a bird storm. Alfred Hitchcock, the birds. Uh -huh. So it described to us what just happened. Probably a million birds just came out of nowhere, landed in the ocean over here, and then drifted towards those sailboats. All you really? hear is on the water, thousands and thousands. They have the other direction now. They're taking off and going the other way. Super weird. We've only been here 10 minutes. Go back to where they came from. <laughs> Never seen anything like that. On August 18th, 1961, the Santa Cruz Sentinel reported thousands of crazed sooty shearwaters sighted on the shores of North Monterey Bay. They were regurgitating fish, flying into objects, and dying in the streets. This news sparked the interest of local resident Alfred Hitchcock, helping to inspire Hitchcock's 1963 thriller, The Birds. However, these birds were not actually crazed, but poisoned due to a high concentration of toxin-producing algae from a nearby sewage leak. Swarming that sailboat out there. There's a sailboat coming in right there. He's like parting the birds with his boat. Yeah, they're, they're not even really going anywhere, they're just kind of like... How bizarre. The Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is an extremely popular place to visit on a summer's day. Typically, the boardwalk is bumping with beach concerts, roller coasters, carnival games, food vendors, and shopping. Ooh, it's 7 o'clock and they're closing up on a Friday night. Huh. Thank you for watching this week's episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss out. You're missing out, man. And we can't wait for you to join us next Tuesday on Destination Out.